Hello fellow vapors and welcome to the Devil Vapor Vape Reviews. Time for another accessory review today and it comes in the form of the Xtar PB2 handheld portable charger. So a massive thanks to Xtar for sending this through for the purpose of review. So what is this I hear you ask? Well this is a battery charger as well as a power bank. Now this has the capabilities to charge two 18650s at the same time. When you're charging two, it will be two bays at one amp. When you're charging one, it will be one bay at two amps. It also has an output as a power bank of a maximum of two amps. So that ain't too bad at all, is it? It's blooming perfect for going out and about, um, especially if you want to charge your battery devices, etc or you know, uh, charge the batteries on your mod. So what we're gonna do in the review today is take it down to the table, we're gonna have an unboxing, show you how it works, go a little bit around it itself, and then bring it back up top and give our overall thoughts and opinions on it. And before I go down to the table, please do not forget to click that subscribe button as well as that bell notification button to be kept up to date with my latest reviews. Um, so without further ado, I will see you down at the table with the Xtar PB2. Right, so let's go through the packaging for you today. You can see me up here in the reflection down there. So at the top you have Xtar New Generation and you have PB2 Handheld Portable Charger. You also have down here handheld size 2 amp dual charger with portable power bank feature. And that in different languages down there. On the side here you have um, a few specifications there which say handy size numeric display and magnetic panel parallel balance charge discharge technology higher power conversion efficiency up to 92 percent compatible with most cell phone charging protocols auto recognizes the load power supply and cable so that is pretty cool on the back there you have as well some more tech specs so um, as an X-Star charger, you have all those bits and bobs and pieces there. As well as on the bottom, you have to read this at an angle. Um, you've got a bit more tech specs there for you as well. You also have your scratch and check and your warranty number down the bottom here. Now this is available, I think, in six different colors. Uh, we'll have a quick look through the website. Four different colors, black, blue, red, and orange. So let's get it out the box and show you what you get inside. So just untake that there we go and it slides out on this lovely tray here as well as your user manual so this user manual just goes through a little bit more about the device itself please read this before using you also have your micro usb charge cable here which is black it's just a simple black uh, basic charger thing there and this is the battery charger itself. So here is the charger slash power bank. Um, at the top here, you have a little LED display. You have XTAR on there. Flip it over and you have a bit more information about the product there as well. Um, so yeah, this is coated in kind of like a rubberized feeling. It feels very, very good. I do like it, it's nice and rubbery. Um, but to open this up here, to get into the battery compartment. Just flip it up like so, and you have the battery bays clearly marked there, as well as the amps there as well. Uh, these contacts aren't springy at all. You've got the little bit of springiness down the bottom there, but nothing too bad at all. Um, and that is that really. You have your button here, and when you press that, the display lights up with the remaining voltage or the percentage of the battery life in there. So we're gonna whack some 18650s in there. I've just been charging them on here. So positive side up in both of them. The magnetic door goes on there very, very nicely indeed. So if you wanna see the remaining uh, battery percentage, you press this button on the side. Nice blue LEDs, and this has got 61% left in it. So when you're charging, obviously that will go up. You do have a flickering digit when it does go up. Um, if we do get a charge cable out now and plug it into my phone, so you just unwrap that like so put that into the output and input so you've got output here input there so when you're charging it you put it in there output um, if you're discharging it or charging another device you put it in there P pretty self-explanatory so I do that I'll get my phone plug it in the charge port at the bottom it automatically recognizes that I do have an output there and it starts to charge um, so that is cool what is it saying on here today for the charge cable charging um, and it's going to be fully charged from 22% in 
in roughly one hour 36. So here you go, you can see that down there and that has gone down a few already. Um, so that is that basically. When you're finished, unplug it, unplug that like so, and the light percentage will go out in a few seconds. Now, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. There we go, it's gone out. But that is it, very, very small indeed. And if I do wanna compare this in size to, this is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, it's not too big. It's not too big at all. If you compare it to, you know, your regular sized 18650 mod, dual 18650 mod, so this is the Vaporesso Ranger. Um, it's, you know, around about an average size for a mod, but it's very compact for a power bank as well as a charger. So what we're going to do now is take this back up to FaceTime and give our overall thoughts and opinions on it. Right, so we are back up top with the Xtar PB2. So what do I think to this lovely little thing? I think it's great. I think it's absolutely great. I haven't seen one like a charger or a power bank that has removable batteries ever on the vaping scene um, whatsoever. So I think it is a great kind of revolutionary device. Now, I think it feels and looks absolutely great. It's got kind of like a rubberized textured feel to it. Um, it feels absolutely beautiful. But how does it perform? That is the main thing we're here to see. Now, a single 18650 at two amp input, um, it charges in around about one and a half hours. Um, dual 18650s is around about three hours. Um, that is what I've had from around about a 2000 milliamp hour battery. Um, so it's kind of average, you know, and what we want to realize as vapors and owners of batteries, we want to charge our batteries as slow as possible just to maximize the amount of life um, and charge cycles they can go through before they end up becoming useless. So I think two bays at one amp is absolutely perfect. One bay at two amp is good if you do need a quick charge from a single battery. Um, any pros and cons to this? None whatsoever. You know, um, it is nice and compact. The battery door is very, very strong indeed. So that's not going to fly off in a hurry at all. Clips on very nicely and it looks blooming good. It looks smart indeed. And it's easy enough to fit in your pocket um, into like a bag, into a vape bag, etc. And it doesn't weigh an absolute ton with or without batteries. You're really not going to notice this in a pocket or anything like that compared to a normal mod. Um, you know, I think this could have done with a torch on it. You know, like say if you're out camping or whatever and you've got your batteries in there, it could have done with a little LED at the end here. Um, so maybe click this three times and it turns it into a torch. That would have been a great addition, possibly a little addition for the future x -tile. You know, take that as, constru as constructive criticism. Um, I would like to see a torch on one of these, especially when you're out camping, etc. But overall, I think this is a cracking little accessory here for vapors or users of 18650 batteries. Now we go into price. Um, We'll go for a reputable brand. So on Fogstar in the UK, they have these for £12.99 pence, which is blooming great for a dual 8650 charger um, that also doubles up as a power bank. 13 quid for a charger, very, very good indeed. I've got no complaints about that whatsoever. Um, so yeah, a nice bit of kit. I've really got no complaints about it at all. I'd just like to see an addition of a torch or a little LED on the end of that, just so you can light up the way if you do want to whilst you're using it or when you have it out and about. So I'd like to thank the lovely people at Xtar for sending this through for the purpose of review. I'll write links in the description below for more information. I've been the Devil Vapor, and you've been watching Devil Vapor's Fate Reviews.